Welcome citizens of the web. We are anonymous. No media is able to describe the situation in Tunisia. The Tunisian government has jailed the free bloggers and prevented local and international media from getting factual information out of the country. Anonymous is collecting videos and testimonies directly from Tunisian citizens on the streets and on the internet. Because Anonymous thinks you need to know. Anonymous will fight against those who are trying to prevent you from knowing the truth. Anonymous will fight against those who want to steal from Tunisians their right to free expression. Demonstrations and mass protests broke out in the African country of Tunisia on December 17, 2010 when 26-year-old Mohamed Bouazizi, an unemployed university graduate, was trying to support himself by selling fruit and vegetables in the city of Sidi Belzid. Police approached Mr. Bouazizi telling him he did not have the proper permission and confiscated his entire stock. Bouazizi then, in an act of desperation and outrage, set himself on fire in the city streets in a grim demonstration against his government's policies. He died as a result of his burns on January 4, 2011. Protesters and demonstrators took to the streets shortly afterwards and raged at the country's rising cost of living, high unemployment rate, media blackouts brought on by the government, and its mass censorship of the Internet and other media sources. The official death toll so far has been said to be just over 20 but the International Federation of Human Rights has said the death toll is at least 66 in the last month alone. Reports sent by protesters show thousands of Tunisians taking to the streets in the country's capital and also report brutal incidents with both police forces and the regime's special forces, the BOP, who are similar to Saddam Hussein's Republican Guard. Sources say they have spotted the BOP infiltrating groups of demonstrators in order to cause havoc and delegitimize the chance for democracy from the Tunisian people. Other sources claim that the BOP might have been terrorizing dissent in order to keep the situation calm. Reports have also come in describing the Tunisian army being protective and helpful to the demonstrators, and in some villages even taking complaints about the police, although the credibility of the reports regarding the actions of the military could not be verified. Anonymous encourages police officers and army personnel to refuse to fire on citizens and to join the fight for liberty. Lawyers and journalists around the country have also gone on strike in a show of support for the demonstrations. The protest is now much more than the little riots we can see on the web. There are organized demonstrations daily all across the country with clear demands and determination as the videos show. The movement has clearly developed to a massive insurrectionary movement. This struggle could lead to a revolution in Tunisia. When governments prevent people from having decent living conditions and prevent them from expressing their anger it must be expected that the people will fight to overthrow those governments and take power for themselves. In Tunisia, as elsewhere, Anonymous will give an active support to such a struggle. In response to the unrest the Tunisian government has reportedly fired the interior minister and are trying to secure Tunis city by stationing soldiers and imposing a strict curfew on its citizens there. Additionally, they have fired the chief of staff of the army, General Rashid Amar, because he reportedly refused to order the soldiers to quell the riots and express reservations about the excessive use of force perpetrated against demonstrators. In order to break the strike in the schools and the universities, the Tunisian government decided to close the entire educational system indefinitely. Ben Ali, the Tunisian president, is now doing everything he can to save himself, his family, and the corrupt politicians he surrounds himself with. He and his cronies are the source of the problems Tunisian citizens are facing. He tries to solve the resistance to his tyranny by firing on his citizens. He tries to combat dissent with censorship and threats.
Protesters throw rocks and the police responds with bullets. However, brute force cannot kill an ideology. The Tunisian revolt won't be so easy to stop. Anonymous is struggling against those who, like Ben Ali, want people to shut up. Refuse to be silenced. Refuse to accept the repression. Rise up. Rise up and fight for your freedom and the freedom of the citizens of the world. Anonymous is not a small sectarian terrorist group. Anonymous is the gathering the collective consciousness of those who want to fight for freedom on the internet. It is a common banner freely available to all who stand against oppression and censorship. You are anonymous. Your family, your friends, anybody around you could be anonymous. Join the fight. Anonymous needs more ideas. Anonymous needs more fighters. Join the IRC. And remember, we are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us 